Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to see how can we take a screenshot and particularly how can we take a screenshot of a particular element using Selenium G Sharp Visual Studio 2022 and particularly Selenium 4.5 version. So the screenshot, the basic functionality remains the same. So the idea behind taking screenshot is to get a proof of what you are seeing. So assume you get an error or you want you have uh, found a thing which is not expected then you can take a screenshot embed in a, ex a report let's say extent report or you can log a bug uh, using the screenshot which uh, which ran or you can do some uh, automation that can automatically create a bug for that particular uh, workflow okay so i will jump right now into my, my microsoft studio and we'll start the video here So now I'm in, so let us close this so for screenshot. Let's create another test method and name this public void. And we will name this uh, take screenshot of page. Okay. So again, I'm going to copy pasting few lines from my previous code. So basically, I'm assuming you know how to we how to uh, how do we initiate a web driver and how do we maximize things and how to all these things. So again, we have a driver of probe driver type, and what better way to explain screenshot? <clears throat> yeah, on the uh selenium docs page of screenshot as well so all methods which i am explaining are written here you should always look for the uh, documents provided by uh, selenium itself so i will so we'll uh, operate on this web page only so again so let us change the uh, url here okay so now we have our url here so for taking a screenshot we are using we will use a screenshot type of uh, class here you can see uh, you can always hover and see what it is so it is of a screenshot type so now we're going to name our object here let's say we are naming it screenshot and now we have to override or explicitly tell that we are using we are passing our driver as a take as a screenshot and now we are ha having to use an interface called i takes in the shot i takes or screenshot so we as we are converting it explicitly we are will close it and now we will use the inbuilt method of get screenshot you can see it is very easy to take a screenshot of any type okay and this is all you need now you only need to save this file so we'll use the object screenshot dot and now the automatic options come as save file and you can see the overloads here you can uh, put the file uh, put the file name as well as the image formats that is png jpg what kind of image do you want to save save as file and again you're going to see there are two overloads so we will be using both of these so file name is basically what file do you want to save so ideally we take title we put some date time or we uh, to, the, uh, to make it unique because if you are taking screenshots of a same name it is going to uh, do, uh, replicate and you would you will have a tough time to identify which screenshot was of which time so basically what we do is we generally we do is we take the title of our page with which we are on and we mix it uh, let's say we mix it and let us put a space over there uh, so what we'll do is we will we'll do a sim simpler one and then we will move to a typical one so let us name as screenshot uh, dot png and will describe which file format it is we'll use screenshot and if you press dot you will get a multiple options so we are selecting dot png because it is lightweight and clear so these images are clear so this is all you need right 
So if I run this test uh, method, I forget to write driver dot quit. That our driver closes. So if I debug this, let's put our debugger uh, here, and so it will take a screenshot and it will save in the in the bin folder, the debug folder of this particular where. Uh, this particular uh, project is stored. So now it has opened the URL. We'll move on. So it has saved a screenshot and it will quit. So how do you going to find it where you are going, where you have saved? So you have to just click on right click here and use open folder in file explorer. And this kind of thing would open and you want to refresh it. And, uh, here it is. This is the screenshot which we took, right? Okay. So this is the screenshot of the web of the page we took, and but again it is screenshot dot png. So you're going to uh, replace or add one um, more of these files. So we'll move back to our page. Now what we need to do is we'll. Uh, change the name so what we'll do is uh, we will concatenate with string so we'll press uh, driver dot uh, title and we're going to use a separator of underscore here again plus again we're going to use date time dot now uh, and you can use any string type. I'm using dot two short date string. And then we're going to again concatenate using a plus. So this the file will save as the page of the title. So the page of the title what here is take screenshot. Take screenshot plus date time of uh, date time of into converted uh, short date string plus the screenshot. So let us save this and is uh, let us debug it one more time. So here it is our web page is open we are going to again do the same process and if we look into our folder here so this is the folder which we took so again take screenshot is our uh, title of the page date time converted into a, uh, converted into a um, string format plus screenshot so you we can we missed an uh, underscore here you can use it or you can use any separator which you want to use it here okay so let us move back and so but the thing is you are capturing screenshot of the entire page so now you want to take screenshot of a particular element so let's assume a condition here is like uh assume that you in instead of interface the requirement is there should be class so we want to take we are whenever we are testing we are comparing an actual result to an expected result right so we know what is expected and we'll compare it with the actual result so let's assume uh, that the expected result here is class interface okay so we are not using asserting but assert but we are using simple if else so uh, what we'll do here is we'll copy uh, this method and try to create a separate method using the same things okay so We'll close this and instead of take screenshot of page because we cannot have two methods with same name, right? We're going to use the same thing. We're going to use the same URL. Now this is of no use for us for now. So this theme, these things are going to change. So right now, if we want to take screenshot of this element, we have to inspect this element and identify this element, right? So we can see that uh, this this uh, this is an element which has interface uh, take screenshot right so we can, uh, and this has a class title see so so we, this has a class of title type so we'll be capturing this uh, text over there and we'll be comparing it if if this equals to class screenshot or not if it is not equal to then we'll take a screenshot of only that particular element so if if i hover over this element because we are capturing this 
So if we if I hover over this element, you want to see how much screenshot it is going to uh, take off take the of uh, how uh, how long or how what screenshot is it is going to take, right? So let me clean this. So we can return back to our normal map, normal functionality. So I'll return it, and if I hover over this, you're going to see that it is it is taking a screenshot. If I uh, pull it out, and now again, if I hover over this, so this this thing. So from left to the complete right, this is the screenshot which we will take. Fine. So let us jump back. Uh, let's jump back to our Visual Studio and what we are going to write it first we are going to capture the uh, uh, the element which we want to take screenshot of right so um, let's name it uh, attire let us uh, give us name of title dot name and then we're going to capture it driver dot find element I'm assuming you know all these functionalities by and now we know that the, the class name was title so we can do uh, use we'll do, we need to find it as soon as we have found that element uh, it is okay for us now we want to so uh, instead of assert i'm using if else here so let's assume if title name dot text because you're going to compare text text is not equal to something then do this so now we are going to take write our logic here okay so instead of again going to this i'm going to copy this but instead of interface i'm going to write class so we are assuming a scenario here so let's go with that so I'm using a var variable because it, it it is it is going to take a lot of uh, if you are using a web element we are going to uh, do some explicit conversion so it is very simpler to use a variable type so I am I am declaring a uh, a variable type of title short or even better I can use it title screenshot right because we are com we are comparing check equal now i i want to over i want to capture this uh, this title name okay so i'm going to again explicitly convert my element to a screenshot of type so i'll go like what i'll write is instead of driver which we passed last time i am going to pass my web element of title name that is the uh, the title which we identified okay and I'll use the I take screenshot as well. Dot and screenshot. So now our screenshot is captured. The only thing needed here is we going to save this uh, title name, title screenshot. Okay. Dot. If you press dot, the save as file option will come, and this these are the options which we have already seen okay so instead of going long time we'll save it like uh, we'll use title name element dot text dot text plus uh, here we're going to use our underscore to separate dot png uh, Plus, we uh, sorry, comma, and we are going to to we are going to tell him which format to use. Dot, not JPEG, PNG. Okay, and driver dot quit. So let us debug and see if we are getting all the requirements done here or not. Let us go and debug this test. So again, it is going to open up a new. Uh, instance of Chrome driver now it is comparing so we can see it has title it has captured the title name here so we can see the title name is already here so id is already there so it has captured if title name equals to not equals to class screenshot that is true it will go it will take screenshot 
it will, it will go and it quit so i what uh, i i would like to tell you you can you can also mention the complete path of a folder over here so if you want to save it in a particular folder you're going to name it at at c something 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 dot dot and folder name and subfolder name and dot png it is going to same save there but right now we are not using it so it is going to uh, save in our debug folder right so let us uh, so here it is here is the screenshot which we take i take screenshot so if i'm going to open it you're going to see the i take screenshot from left to right the whichever element which was there it has captured only that screenshot right? so this is how you're going to test uh, take uh, screenshot and we use only uh, we capture uh, only uh, the an element where uh, it is only three. so right now our page is small but what if the page was humongous right then you're going to uh, then the, the screen size and the image size is going to be long and you and you are testing a lot of lot of test methods within the same uh, test class again so to it is better to take screenshot it is lighter and it will be easier to identify which uh, particular element we are talking about so that's all for this uh, time. Uh, if you like this video, if you learn something, please do uh, like, share, subscribe. These things helps uh, in growing the channel. And if you want something particular for the next one, uh, do mention in comments. I will try to create uh, that one also. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.